Hi guys, it's Marco Schwartz here and this is the second video of the Open Home Automation channel. And in this video I will show you how you can, you can create smart lighting with just your Arduino board and a photo resistor. So what I call by smart lighting is just having one light, so in, in our case it would just be a single LED which is controlled by some uh, exterior lighting. So for example in your home you want to put your lights on uh, when uh, the night is falling and you want, you want to put them um, off again uh, in the morning and all of this automatically. And this is exactly, exactly what I will show you in this uh, tutorial. So let's dive in into the project. So as usual this is a Arduino Uno board and first I will place uh, everything concerning the, the sensors. So this is uh, the photo cell or the photo resistor that I place here. The next component I have to place is um, this 10K resistor next to the photo cell so it forms a voltage divider that I will use to get the ambient light level. Then I, I just put a simple uh, wire to the 5 a volt of the Arduino board directly into the one pin of the photo cell. The next thing to do is to put um, the ground to one pin of the 10K resistor and finally um, I still have to wire like, the middle pin of uh, my sensor to the analog zero pin of the Arduino board and now we have the sensor part which is ready. Finally we have to to configure our LED part. So just put um, a red LED into the breadboard and next to it I will just put um, a 470 ohm resistor to limit the current going into this LED. Then I have to connect uh, the, um, the cathode of the LED to the ground of the Arduino board and then to control the LED I just put a wire from the resistor to um, the pin number 2 of the Arduino board. And now we can move back to the screen and to the Arduino IDE. So the code is, is in this part is quite simple. Uh, remember what you want to do. Whenever the light, uh, the exterior lights are going down, we want to activate the lights inside our home. And in the other uh, case, whenever the outside light goes up again, we want to switch the lights off in our home. So we define two pins. A sensor pin where you, you will have the, um, the photo cell connected and the light pin where we will have our LED connected. And then the main part of the program is this analog read function which will return a value between 0 and 1023 and this will be our indication of the level of the exterior uh, light. So over there we define two thresholds, a low and a high threshold, to detect if um, the exterior light is more like the night or during the day. So why do we use uh, two thresholds actually? Well if we define only one threshold, let's say at 500, well around 500 the sensor may be we return some value above 500 and, and at the same time or sometime later uh, below 500. So we will actually oscillate and switch the light on and off uh, all the time. So this is really good. This is why we have two thresholds. And in this part, if a low light level is, is deleted, we switch this LED on with this digital write function. And on the other case, if the light, uh, if the light goes up again, we switch the light um, off. And this is really all for the code. And now we will move on to uh, actually uploading this code to the Arduino and see the effect uh, on the hardware itself. Now we are back to the hardware and the board is configured with the code we just saw. And now I will approach my hand close to the photo cell and you'll see that the light is turning on and when I remove my hand it's turning off automatically so the circuit is working correctly. 
So this is already the end of this uh, video tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it would be really nice if you can uh, show me what you've done yourself if you try to adapt this very simple project to your own um, home. And as always, don't hesitate uh, to comment on YouTube and remember we have a website. I included the link uh, below and on this website you can find the whole article with, um, you can download the code and to finish up this video, uh, just as always, try out the code yourself, modify it and then uh, share it with the community. Thank you and I will see you on this video. Thank you.